circular references in Excel. Uh, many of the examples in this video are drawn from a book called Excel 2003 Formulas by John Walkenbach, and you might consider uh, getting the book. Um, he has some good examples in here. So uh, the topic is circular references in Excel. Uh, let me just give a simple example of this so you understand the concept. Um, let's say uh, a simple form, uh, f uh, a simple reference. Let's say I put the number four in cell A1, and then in cell A2 I say equals A1. So that's a regular reference such that um, the contents of cell A2 refer to the contents of cell A1. Now let's say. Uh, deliberately or accidentally I go back here to cell A1 and I want to make a formula that's based on cell A2 so let's say I say equals A2 plus 3 uh, so what's going to happen is a little message box will pop up uh, with a warning it says Microsoft Excel, Office Excel cannot calculate a formula cell references in the formula refer to the formula's result creating a circular reference try one of the following if you accidentally created a circular reference, click OK. To display the circular reference toolbar, point to toolbars on the view menu and then click circular reference. We say OK here. And it changes this to a zero. Um, and here on the bottom, it gives it says circular colon A2. And it's putting a zero in this. Why is this? Because um, A, uh, A1 refers to A2. You see here's the formula that A1 is A2 plus 3. But um, here in A2, um, it just has whatever values in A1. So effectively, A1 is pointing to itself because A1 points to A2, which in turn points to A1. So it's referring to itself. Another example I could say, just in A4, I could say that it's equal to A4 plus one. A4 plus one. So here, uh, I'm explicitly referring to myself, and it's also a circular reference. Um, and it's going to continue to say this circular A2 until I somehow fix the problem. Uh, now, uh, this is, in most cases when you do a circular reference, it's an error, and so you should go fix it. Um, however, if you go to the to, uh, to tools options uh, and you go to the calculation tab, one of the options here is iteration. So we could check this off, and. Uh, what's going to happen is that when th this is specifically for calculating circular references, um, it, it, it will uh, actually use the previous value in that cell in order to calculate the new value. So it actually, uh, Excel will allow uh, circular references. Um, okay. So just to give a simple example to, to continue along this uh, route. Let's change iterations to, we'll check it off, we'll change maximum iterations to 1. So when we actually perform a calculation, uh, we'll uh, iterate, we'll look at one last, the last time that we did it. Um, and furthermore, we want this, the calculation to happen uh, manually um, instead of automatically. And you see Calc Now will perform all the calculations on the worksheet. You can press F9, you can go in here and click on Calc Now. So let's uh, click OK here. And just to give a simple example, let's get rid of all of these. Uh, I'm highlighting all of them. I'm deleting them. There should be no more circular reference. 